everyone. Welcome to my vlog on Treat Me at Home. This is episode two. Should be to episode three, but yesterday was Mother's Day, and you know how that goes. So, what has been going on? Uh, I've been working on some App Store submission uh, stuff, mostly for uh, the Android side. I need to finish up on the iOS as well. Um, we are uh, still actively looking for some providers and selecting through people. Um, on our category. So we're having health and beauty, food services, cleaning services, music services, and education slash tutoring. So um, yeah, so we're looking for people in all in all those areas. So if you're in the Louisville area, Louisville, Southern Indiana area, and you're watching this and uh, you want to be a service provider, holler at me. But uh, other than that, we've also been working on PR-related stuff, um, trying to secure some more uh, spots with some different media outlets, as well as doing a, as well as doing a um, social media PR blast. So be looking for that uh, in the next week, next couple weeks, and uh, I mean that's pretty that's pretty much it. I'm really excited. Um, There's some stuff code-wise that I would like to do, but I'm trying my best to hold off. Um, probably put it out as like an alpha patch. You know, a lot of times uh, when you are uh, an entrepreneur and you're also a developer, you t one of the things that you tend to do is try to like uh, put every idea that you think of into your app like right then and there. But you know, you can really damage yourself by doing that by you know introducing bugs. Um, you know, yeah, pretty, that's pretty much the, the big thing. <laughs> Introducing bugs into your previously working code. So, um, I was looking at the back end for Treat Me at Home, and, you know, so much of it is, um, it's like, old Laravel 5.3, 5.2 code. Um, I need to update it to 5.8. I tried to put a telescope on the application, and, um, you know, it failed the composer installation failed because you need level 5.8 to run telescope and telescope would be really helpful um, on launch so those of you who don't know what level telescope is uh, you can just head over to level.com look at the official packages but basically it's a, it's a debugging dashboard so you can like see incoming requests you can see your queues you can see your error exceptions you can see your query uh, your database queries, it's really awesome. And if you're a Laravel developer uh, and you're not using it, I, I, there's no reason why you shouldn't. So check it out. Uh, I believe it's laravel.com forward slash 5.3 forward slash, or my bad, 5.8 forward slash telescope. Um, can't check off the top of my head, but yeah. So, you know, just looking at some old packages, looking at some old code, I'm like, wow. Um, definitely some refactoring that probably should go on I'm gonna look into that later tonight uh, that would definitely help on some of the performance side uh, and this is just like stuff that I've noticed you know as you progress as you progress as an engineer and you get you know more and more senior level you uh, do certain best practices that I wasn't using three uh, and a half years ago that I definitely need to put in there um, refactored some code and it greatly reduced the lines in that controller. So that was that was uh, that was very much needed. The native script app um, still doing styling, um, but that's pretty much it at this point. Um, you know, I'm not it, it, I'm not too too worried about the the styling. It looks good. Um, it's kind of basic, and that's honestly what I want right now, especially while I'm focused on you know analy uh, gathering analytics. Um, it's pretty much it. It's pretty much it. What I got going on. So um, after I do some of these updates tomorrow, I'll give I'll give you guys a, an update, make sure that my app hasn't crashed. But um, like I said, if you guys are if you guys are interested in being a service provider and you're in the Louisville or Southern Indiana area, please um, don't hesitate, you know, reach out to me. You can hit me up at jerome.parker at gmail.com 
or you can just reply to this video with your email and I'll reach out to you. So thank you guys. Talk to you later.